332. We were at 335 just a second ago. Yeah. Oh, we're sitting here idling. Well, before we were idling, it said 335. Now it's just 330 because we're sitting. But what road did we just take and how fast were we going? Uh, we were on the Ramona Expressway, um, average 55 miles an hour. And it's uh, about as good as you're going to get on this vehicle at 55, not pushing a lot of weight. So we're, that showed 33.5. And it's a slight downhill because we're running from the end of Ramona Expressway back into town. Um, we're going to take it over to Domingoni and we'll get a little better reading as to what it would be like at freeway speeds on um, flat and level. And uh, by the time we get across town, we'll have a better idea of what in town uh, miles per gallon is going to be like because we've got all these signals along the way. All right, cool. So. <clears throat> Will HHO work for any vehicle? Um, they won't work on electric. <laughs> <laughs> but for most anything else, it, it I see no reason why it couldn't. Um, the um, fuel air mixture is is ideal for any vehicle. Um, I say fuel air mixture. The HHO fuel is ideal for any vehicle um, because it's no smog, it's a gaseous state, it's not like it's droplets of anything, um, so it combusts completely and um, there's no reason why we can't put that in any vehicle because there's no emissions. There, It only makes um, the fuel that you're using work better. HHO comes from water mm -hmm. and when you burn HHO it turns back into water, right? Correct. It gives off heat. Any chance that that'll harm the engine or any other, other parts of the car? No, no, because even, even regular fuel air mixture creates water as well as other things. It's just that um, this is only going to have a little bit more moisture created, but it's not like it's introducing something foreign. You're, it's already got water going through the system. Uh, like, like a vehicle that starts up in the morning uh, on a cold day, you see water coming out the exhaust pipe. Well, that's because the exhaust is condensing onto the cooler pipes and creating the moisture. Well in an engine that's warm it doesn't have a cool pipe to condense on that's why you don't see water coming out of a hot engine or you know an engine that's warmed up so it's not introducing anything new to the engine that it doesn't already have coming through it it's just not going to have all the other things coming through added to it because it's just water okay <clears throat> so since it does create moisture and the pipes are hot in the engine and all the other stuff is it true that uh, it's kind of like steam cleaning uh, I wouldn't say it's the same as water injection water injection it's already water when you put it in this is gases that's combusting creating more energy um, a hotter flame a quicker flame therefore your engine is running more efficiently on the fuel that it is using uh, when you inject water you're just getting the steam action out of the water, of the water molecules being excited into a, a flash vapor into steam, that is more or less steam cleaning the engine. But it's not, um, it's not the same. It, 
it doesn't give you more power per se. Um, it might give you a little boost. It's going to allow you to run um, uh, run your engine harder with the water injection. It's going to help cool the engine as you're running it harder um, because you're injecting water and that's pulling heat out of your flame by the changing of the water into vapor. And since the HHO doesn't inject water. It doesn't inject water, it injects gas that burns creating moisture as a vapor. Hmm. So <clears throat> from what I've read, uh, cars nowadays have um, the microchips in the back near the exhaust or something like that to right. help monitor how well it's burning and if it's got too much oxygen, they'll add more fuel to the engine or if it's got too right. much um, exhaust, it'll lean out the gas. Right. Um, <clears throat> how do you get around that? Well, um, the HHO kits have um, an electronic fuel injection, uh, it's a, they call it an EFI, e -F -I -E, um, and what it does is it has um, a compensation to those sensors, provided the sensors are working properly, that they will um, allow those sensors to not overreact to a more efficient burning engine. Because when you in put in the HHO kit, um, it creates it to burn leaner be only because it's burning it more completely. And without the EFI kit on it, it's going to think that it's um, running too lean and it's going to tell it to give it more fuel. And it's going to in, uh, incorrectly adjust the, um, the mi fuel air mixture. When you've already got the perfect fuel air mixture from before you had the FE kit on, I mean the HHO kit on, if that was running perfectly then, now you're only making it run more efficiently, it's going to need to be adjusted so that it doesn't tell the computer to richen your gasoline mixture so Maybe. that it, it would actually defeat the purpose of what you're going to have on your engine with, with the HHO kit. You don't want to defeat that, you have to enhance that. And the idea is to enhance the performance of it, even though it's burning cleaner. You don't want that extra cleanness being misread by the computer. Okay. So, <clears throat> let's say classic cars that don't have those chips. Like, let's say a muscle car. Would a muscle car do well with the uh, HHO kit? Oh, it would do excellent with it because it doesn't have to confu be confused by the uh, chips. All you're doing is displacing fuel air mixture. You can just put it on after the carburation is done and you're not messing with the carburation at all. You're just using less fuel air mixture because it's being displaced by the HHO gas. Would that increase horsepower? It'll increase horsepower because that fuel air mixture is uh, absolutely perfectly mixed and it's a hotter flame and it's a quicker flash across the chamber. Therefore, it makes it um, more efficient to burn. The uh, gasoline mixture that you have coming in through the carburetor. Okay. So yeah, it's going to give it a little more, a little.
little more power for the same amount of gasoline that you're using except you'll be using it less because you're displacing some of it with the HHO kit as well and you'll use less gas because you're getting more power out of it so you're having to use less accelerator to get the same speed okay real quick before we take a break how are we doing on our fuel economy uh, driving across town and stopping off and on we're now 26 9 so about 26 is what we're going to end up being for in town and um, we should be somewhere around 30 ish for on the freeway it's 26 8 and the light just changed 26 7 all right now we'll start coming back up